summer break is over. And not only do we get to meet a big titty college girl, she's actually not a college girl, she was a middle school girl. But we have Mina-chan now, and they're both in the same class. Not the middle school girl, I mean the Mina-chan. Now that means there's opportunity for Natsuka to be jealous. When we come back to school, and Natsuka sees, oh, Sajo, but then Sajo's talking with Mina, you know what I'm saying? There's three episodes left of the season, but like, I don't see it having an actual conclusion. Like there's no way Natsuka and Sajo, their conflict is gonna be resolved in season one. So I'm left here thinking, what the fuck are we doing? Let's find out. Careful, careful, don't run, don't run. <laughs> the shit she wears just makes me think that she's like an older girl, you know? Yes, it is the middle schooler. <laughs> middle schooler, yes. All sticky and clingy. Wow, the smell of shampoo. <laughs> oh. Oh, you, you're the heat. Mina. And the senpai, right? The older senpai. How does this work? I don't know. Anime logic. Oh, aren't they becoming good friends, though? They're like talking about books they like. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder if she will enroll in our high school because she's about to graduate middle school, right? Wow! Oh, Mina-chan! Wow, look at her get excited and happy. Yeah, this is actually so nice. Older? Bro, what are you talking about? She looks like she's in kindergarten. Get it yourself, bitch. <laughs> so bossy. Oh, wow. Yo, you gotta censor the feet, though. Look at them toes. You can't really see the toenail. Oh, look at the toenails right there. <laughs> Title drop. Yo, get them grippers out of my face. I bet they smell. Let me let me get a sniff. Oh, middle school kid. There, she's gonna show up. He's gonna have to be the orientation leader for that group. Natsuka was gonna see. Oh, I can already see what's gonna happen. Oh, look at them grippers, man. Oh, oh, look at that toe move. Yo, what else can those toes do? Yo, how high are those legs going? A lot of big sister uh, fan service today. Didn't realize um, them toes would be so uh, devastating. Sandwich in between. Don't think about it like that, my man. The fuck? She lives in a house like this? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's like, remember how I joke about Yuri's dojo? I feel like this is another like very traditional Japanese style house. Shinomiya Senpai. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. Hmm. I do like her design the most, I think, of all the girls so far. Surprised she's not doing that to his ear with her toes, you know? Big sis stretches out little bro's hole. That should be the title of this episode. On a personal level? Huh? Your choice of wording, careful! Okay. But man, are you indirectly risen or like... What the fuck? What the... Where did this come from? That's a thumbs up with their toe though. <laughs> Hello, Shinomiya. Eh? Wow, she's actually got rizzed up. You know, you said you want to meet on a personal level. Affection! <laughs> Threw off Yuyu's hands and then grasped him again. <laughs> Those two girls are so angry. Angered Yuyu by being upset at Sajo because Yuyu wasn't, you know, offended. Well, the other girl too, yeah. They're very upset. I wish I could have his younger brother? I'd be done. Yo, let's switch sisters right now. Hmm. Yo, he didn't even get faced by that comment! Saju? Will you, what about the little brother part? Hey, hello? She is pretty straightforward. But that's why she takes it seriously about what you say on the personal level. This is gonna be so good, man. Sasaki is gonna show up. Saju is gonna lead the group. Oh my god. And then Natsuka is gonna be around. Oh my god. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, why is it all just girls? It's a guy's fantasy for the discipline club to be just all girls almost. Show them manliness. Oh, you don't even have to, bro. As soon as you open the door, the Sasaki is gonna be. The oh! Heavy? Where? 
Attractive faces and academic excellence. And just <laughs> I mean, I guess, you know, good looking people that are smart are the prime candidates for this. Mm. Oh, she looks like she'd be really good for that. Yeah. Oh, that's the foreign exchange student. No, no, no that's that's the that's the girl that wants it. Fuck you, Natsuka. What are you doing here? Mm. This guy. Good. Yeah, hello. Let's walk in late awkwardly. Mm. The face of Natsuka revolted me. I had to walk away. Also, I mistakenly called the middle school girl Sasaki earlier. You, you, so happy, but the other girls are not. Oh, does she now? <laughs> They're such a lovey dovey couple. Hmm. You use not getting upset at the talk of Mina? I thought that maybe Mina you would get jealous. What's that airplane? Oh, Shinomiya senpai. Oh my god. Hmm. Do you want to go on a date? <laughs> no, I don't want to see your shitty ass fucking soccer match. That's God. Let's bring your younger sister. Oh, is she just rejecting him? Damn. I wonder if Sajo asked if she would do it. I don't know. Hmm. Aidi chan is very cute. Remember that episode, the beach episode, where she's like, ah! Got hit by the ball. Is this the past? Oh, this is like the past of Natsuka always getting invited out to things, but then she can't because of family obligations? You know, in situations like this, the more you get invited out and reject, like, people will stop doing that at a certain point, because they just assume that you're too busy. I mean, it's just... It's not even that serious, it's just taking care of the younger sister, like... Hmm. Sajo? This is Sajo slipping, and then Natsuka helps him up, right? I think we saw a brief flashback. Damn! <laughs> not the Mapo Tofu on the ground! Jesus, I can't believe people are just laughing and snickering instead of helping him up, though. Ah, I can't even be upset, bro. He just... Then what? Why, why did you do it? So you pitied him? So no one else was helping. They're all so shitty. She felt guilty, so she helped them? <laughs> so she... So that was all because she felt guilty and no one else was helping out. <gasps> Will you go with me? Rejection incoming. <laughs> But she wasn't even trying to be kind. No. Like, she wasn't trying. She what is she grossed out right now? Like, uh. <laughs> no handshake. The Thaja takes like a man. <laughs> Look at her face, bro. That's a face of disgust. Like, oh my god, are you actually asking me for details right now? Like, I don't have time for you, man. I didn't even help you because I was trying to be nice. Everyone at the school was so shitty. I just did it because no one else would do it. Bye. Ooh, ooh. What a first impression. And then he starts stalking her. <laughs> Look, usually I'm a Natsuka hater, but right now I feel like Sanja shouldn't be doing this. I don't know. I, I, do girls like it when guys are super clingy like this? I think some girls actually do like guys chasing after them to a certain extent, but there's also a line you shouldn't cross. Maybe it seems very, uh, what's the word? Endearing that he's trying so hard, even though it's clearly she's not interested. But, I mean, it worked, right? Because eventually... <laughs> It got to a point where we started to say, okay, we'll just leave you alone. And now she's like, what? Why leave me alone? Kind of, yes. The burden that she felt was gone because of Sajo. Interesting. What? You suddenly got a feeling of Stockholm Syndrome, of getting stalked every day, but no longer? Is that him? It is, right? Colored his hair, I think. Bye. You can at least appreciate the hustle of Sajo never giving up, even though she looks disgusted every time she, like, she sees him. Same high school, right? But this is middle school times? Who else made it? Wataru oh, Sajo. Haha, <laughs> hello, hello. 
<laughs> this is a nightmare, honestly. If I was in Natsukawa's shoes and there was someone stalking me and you fucking went for the same high school, I'd be like, oh, God. <laughs> I don't know if that's just romantic or not. <laughs> first name basis. My man is hustling. At every opportunity, just immediately jumping to first name basis. Oh? Yeah. I like her. She's really good. The best friend of Natsuko. And then... Episode 1 happened. And now she's being left alone. And now she feels Stockholm Syndrome. Huh? That's not Sajo. She looking for him? She's actually just looking for him? Nah, my man Sajo's busy with other girls. You, you missed your chance, Natsuko. We stalked you for entire middle school and like high school for a bit. <laughs> this guy Sasaki was just following the entire time. <laughs> Bye. I don't want to walk with you. Bye. I feel bad for Sasaki, man, because he's like a conventionally good looking dude, but like. Yes. <laughs> Yo, he's getting cucked right now. Where are we going with this right now with Natsuko? Hold up. I want Sasaki to be talking to some different girl outside right now, and Natsuko walks into them. <laughs> Kinda true. <laughs> How does this almost seem like a breakup, bro? It's not even a breakup. Like, hey, we're sorry for stalking you all this time. Did she just say I miss you? Did she just say I miss you? Well, I guess the lesson is don't give up on a girl no matter how much she says to fuck off, guys. And eventually, she'll feel so weird because you're not stalking her anymore that she'll miss you. Is that the theme of this anime? Sasha's busy helping out the other girls. Go away, Natsuka. What are you gonna do when you catch up to her? Like, what are you gonna say? Like, you're gonna say, Sasha, and then what? I miss you, maybe? We're not getting a confession, right? Like, what's going on right now? We're getting a montage of all the Sasha, you know, Natsuka moment right now in her head? Yo! She's not realizing her feelings right now, is she? Hold up, guys. Hold up. Why is the soundtrack so upbeat right now? This is all leading to something big. Now, if only there's a sunset right now outside, then and if it was on top of a rooftop, there we go. <laughs> oh, maybe she's on top of it. She's on top of it right now. On top. Okay, never mind. To find you? But for what? Say something. I swear to God. No! What kind of cliffhanger is that? Are you you just fucking build up through the entire episode of like Natsuko trying to find Sazu with the music swelling up? It's almost like sunset lighting outside of the school, and then boom! Fucking nothing. Gotta wait till next episode. Actually, this is kind of good, because now we're getting actual development. But I'm interested in what she's actually gonna say to Sajo because there is like what is she gonna say? Stalk me back? Or it's more like I miss you? Like what could she possibly say? But it does really feel like she's realizing her feelings for Sajo more and more. Which has kind of fucked up because I still think this is a little bit of Stockholm Syndrome, which is basically like if you are in an abusive relationship for a long time and then you leave that relationship, you almost miss that abuse because it was so normalized over that time. So this right now happening of <laughs> Natsuka was saying I miss you could be the <laughs> a reason of Sajo just like, you know, stalking her like that. And then now he just left her alone. She feels like, oh, I missed that. You know, but I, I don't know. I don't know where we're going with this. I do know that there might be a jealous moment incoming because middle school kids are coming. That means our special middle school girl is going to show up. Sajo's going to be the one to lead the orientation. I hope Natsuka gets to see. I hope she gets to see. Also, don't forget about Mina-chan. We got to also show off Mina Chan in front of Natsuka, but hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.